Focused in the domestic political arena now, at the National Assembly, ruling Senator Party is keen to pass a slew of key economic bills before the current extraordinary session ends next Thursday. Opposition bloc lawmakers, meanwhile, appear to be shifting their attention to preparing for April's upcoming general elections. Jim young gil has more. The ruling Senori Party on Friday for the last time called on the opposition party lawmakers to pass key economic bills as legislative duties have come to virtually a standstill. We must pass economic revitalization and labor reform bills within February's extra session. Parliament has the duty to pass bills so that we don't miss a golden opportunity to help boost our economy and create new jobs. The ruling party's top priority is to pass a bill to promote Korea's service industry and four labor reform bills aimed at restructuring Korea's rigid labor market. Therefore, the ruling bloc hopes to open a voting session next week to pass the key pending bills as the current parliamentary session ends on March 10th. However, the main opposition Minju Party of Korea has criticized all of the economic bills passed to date, stressing that nothing was done to help boost Korea's sluggish economy. The president maintains that if the assembly passes certain key economic bills, it would help rejuvenate Korea's economy. But our economy is slipping into recession. With April's election nearing, the Minju Party is unlikely to cooperate on passing the bills after the counterterrorism bill, the North Korea Human Rights Bill, and the Electoral Map Bill gained approval. With the new Electoral Map finalized, Korea's political parties were busy screening candidates' credentials on Friday to make room for some fresh faces in the run-up to the election. After months of political wrangling and political bargaining, the 19th National Assembly is being called a vegetative legislature, one that is unresponsive to calls urging for passage of important bills. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.